guys, thank you for tuning back to my channel. My name is Mimi Carva and I'm back at it with another wig review. So today's review is going to be a collab with my girl Beauty by Mark. Her name is Markeisha, but her channel is Beauty by Mark. I am so happy that she did ask me to collab. Of course, queens gotta come together, okay? So I'm gonna put her picture right here or right here so you guys can check out her channel and see what she's all about make sure you check out her Instagram as well so make sure you are subscribed to my channel and make sure you are clicking all notification bells and yeah let's get this thing started let's go on to the next clip Ryan Little. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga. Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in. As you guys can see, you guys seen the outcome of this look here. It did take some work, but I'm happy with the outcome here. Super cute, like, you know I love shortcuts. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I like to slay these shortcuts, but this baby here, she's so cute. So today, we are reviewing Amina um, by um, Sensational Sheer Muse and I have her in the color 350 so this here is the stock card and the model is rocking this look like I love it like it's curly but I could have fixed it up a little bit more but you know it's, it's just too much work too much work but um here is the color palette that they do have of all like the special colors and i think i have this color yeah right here 350. i do want to get a rose gold um i actually seen um another young lady on instagram i'm not sure if she has a youtube she slayed that if you want to check it out check it out on sensationals um instagram she slayed that. i think her name is cheeky or uh, if I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, but she slayed that cut. I'm like, I knew this unit had potential and I knew that's why I got it. But yeah, this wig right here, it's a nice shortcut unit. Um, it comes with two combs in the front, one in the back and an elastic band. Um, it is 100% premium fiber. It does has a HD lace. Um, which is supposed to keep them guessing. That's what they're saying. Um, it has a pre-plucked hairline with natural density. I do believe the hairline is uh, pre-plucked, but um, you won't see it with the like the orangey. It's like an auburn, but it looks like red, but then orangey around like the same time. Like, I, let me see. I want to get close so you guys can really see. Oh, you see that color? These colors are hitting. I love me a nice copperish, orangey color. I think that really extenuates like my skin tone. Um, but yeah, I did. Where did I get this unit from? Oh, I got this from wigtypes.com. Um, I am never prepared. I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure that I have um, wig types website so I can tell you how much. So let me go ahead and get the price and I'll be right back. Okay, so this unit is going for a total of $29 on wig types website. So that's a total of under $30 for a slate, okay? Who don't like a good cheap slate, okay? And the unit is super like, I don't know, I just like the curls. Um, what I did, um, I don't even know where I put it, but I did have like a water bottle, so I just wet it up a little bit. I, I, I didn't really cut, because normally I do like to chop up a lot, but I only cut like a little bit of the baby hairs here. Um, these, I just kept them the way they were. Um, I just finger try to finger comb a little bit here and there but i did use my y2 comb when i started using um like my vented brush i see their uh, like the curls were opening up too much and i did not want that so i just kept it with this right here um i also think i did apply a little bit of um it's called on natural it's a synthetic remy spray let me zoom in yeah it's a synthetic uh, Remy spray for synthetic units so that's what I did just a little bit it didn't need it um, it wasn't tangling of course but I just wanted just to soften it up a little bit I did not apply any mousse of course I used my got to be glue and I also used my even New York edge tamer over here um, you won't be able to see the camera's not gonna focus but yeah that's what I did use and that was pretty much it like I think this unit came out so well I didn't expect it to be this cute like I know it had potential because you have to remember you have to frame your face with these shortcuts like just because it looks good on someone else doesn't mean it wouldn't look good on you you just have to frame it because I'll see some people like oh my face is big and it's not gonna fit my face you have a small face that is not necessarily true you just have to frame it to your face like I know they always say shortcut goes with uh like slim face 
girls that's not true frame it to your face baby girl like and you will come out slaying i promise you so like the sides it's like super curly it's kind of tough like for me like tucking behind my ear it's like pushing my ear a little bit but look this looks so good like oh my gosh like i'm looking at the screen and i didn't know it looked at this good on camera i did my thing okay y'all can't tell me i ain't doing my thing so let me go ahead and give you a 360. So I'm not sure how the back is looking, but I try. So this is the back. And of course, oop, I don't have my spinning chair, so <laughs> I gotta spin the old fashioned way. But yeah, this is how this unit is looking. I'm so happy of the outcome. I didn't really experience any tangling, any shedding, um, none whatsoever. Um, I think this unit is, um, I don't want to say big head friendly. The unit is average size head friendly. I tightened it a little bit because the fact I don't really have too much hair. And I also, uh, did put two stocking caps because my hair is kind of growing and I didn't want that bulky look because normally I would get like a bulky look. So it did flatten my hair. I did use two stocking caps. Um, I ain't finna sleep tonight because that thing is tight. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can part it. Um, a little bit I think they give you like about an inch and a half parting space as you can see I did part it here like it gives you options uh, to part so it's the stops right here and the tracks begin towards the back so it gives you like just a little bit of room just to keep it cute make it look good and stuff like that so yeah but I am loving this um, I feel like this is like my natural hair just growing out and um yeah just it's just giving me like this wet look and i just love it um from a scale of one to ten i do give this unit i give it a nine i love it i love the shortcut i do love it the density is kind of like thicker here um so you can comb her out if you want to have that uh poofy look you can do that um if you want to tame the curls you can use mousse i did not use mousse because i didn't want it to be crunchy um but yeah like i am loving this look like so tell me what you guys think um wh what do you think about the color you don't have to get this color the young lady on the stock card is looking real good with this um what she's wearing 1b she's looking real good with this 1b i do want to get the pink though no lie i do want to get the pink but um yeah so just let me know your thoughts down below comment in the comment section and make sure you're checking out the description box below make sure you're checking out my girl beauty by mark and make sure you are following her instagram and her channel and um don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share, and click that notification bell while you guys are at it. And also, don't forget to check my social media platform on Instagram, which is Mimi Carvel Beauty. I have two channels, so make sure you're following the one with the word beauty at the end. Period. And yep, that is about it, ladies or gents, if you guys are watching my channel. Bye. Love you guys. See you soon.